Hello and welcome to another Wobbly Camera Guy video. If you're utilizing Hit Film Express to edit a particular video clip and you want to add some text, you normally come across to the left hand corner here, you click on the text tab, click on the appropriate text font that you want and you start adding your text to your clip. However, there might be an occasion whereby there's a particular text um, font that you want to utilize that's not listed within the dialog box and the question is then, how do we add this so you can utilize it in your video clip? Well, the first thing to realize is that HitFilm Express actually doesn't come with a set of text fonts at standard. What it actually does, it extrapolates those text fonts from your PC. So for example, if you've got Word on your PC, all the text fonts from there, it'll actually sort of get all of those and actually incorporate those into that listing as you can see there. So how do we add a new text font to your PC? So what we need to do first of all is go on the internet and find a site that's got some new free text fonts. Obviously you can pay for them as well if you want to, but I don't like paying for things if I don't have to. I found a particular sort of website called Font Space and there's numerous websites out there Particularly examples, you've got 1001 free fonts, there's DA font or DA font, there's lots of them. The reason I've chosen this is that they have a little section there called commercial use, and this is free for commercial use. So in other words, if you wanted to make a video for YouTube, you can incorporate these text fonts without sort of thinking about any sort of copyright issues. A lot of the time, and when you go onto the sites, it's like, oh, it's free for sort of personal use. But if you incorporate them into a video that, you know, a lot of people are going to watch, i.e. Joe Public, be careful, you might be infringing copyright law. So anyway, what do we do? Let's find a text font that we want to use. Let's use, I don't know, we'll use excluded. That looks good. So I'm going to hit the download button. I've created a little folder called new font. So I'm simply going to save it to that area. It's a zip folder. I'm just going to go now into that folder. I'm now going to extract it. So just hit extract all. And there we go. I'm just going to do those as a listing. That just makes it a little easier to um, grab them a little bit later on. And what we need to do in order to actually sort of incorporate this into your PC is hit the little sort of Windows dialog box in the bottom corner there. Click settings. See, we've got this little dialog box there. Simply type in the word font and font setting comes up, hit font settings, and you'll see we've got this little dialog box that says drag and drop to install your fonts on them. So what we need to do, if I can move this window, there we go, sometimes I don't always want to move, we're simply going to move these two sort of folders into that dialog box, and as soon as you click on these, your dialog box disappears. So just click on the little cog, cog symbol there and it comes back. We'll move these into there, and you see the word copy, it's now actually copied these into our little file. Remember, it's called Exclude Italic, that's the font. So what we need to do now is jump back into HitFilm Express and see if that dialog box has actually now got incorporated the new Excluded Italic font. Okay, so now back into HitFilm Express, I'm just going to click the text tab and see whether our new font has been loaded. Remember, it's called Excluded Italic. If I find it. There we go. So I'm now just going to type a little text in there. And there you go. It's just one way I found of adding a new text font on to HitFilm Express to incorporate in your videos. One thing I did find is, is that I needed to reload HitFilm Express when I um, incorporate the new text font into sort of your PC, just so it can actually sort of um, discover it and incorporate it into its table. But apart from that, it works fine. So anyway, hope you found this useful. If you did, then pop across my channel. There's plenty of other videos on HitFilm Express, as well as some other great content as well. So as always, appreciate you watching and I'll catch up with you soon.